tell you what a beautiful day it is here in Blue Island. We had a beautiful weather Saturday uh, uh, on that, having the governor come out and announce uh, much needed funding with facing our flooding and issues as you can see we got rain today. Um, let me start off by saying we, we've uh, been dealing with an issue and faced with an issue in the city of Blue Island for over five years. Uh, an issue that affects not only the residents in the second and third ward, but the residents of the city of Blue Island. Uh, it affects business, it affects public safety, it affects just basically our city operations. Uh, recently, a few months back, we had the Ashland Bridge on uh, 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 Ashland Avenue, just east of here, that was shut down. We had a county bridge just west of here that was shut down. And for over five years, going on six, probably six years, we've had two City of Blue Island bridges that were shut down. I want to give you a little brief and in, in a, a little bit of an excellent history of where we're at. Uh, the, the state bridge that was shut down due, was due to an accident and the Illinois Department of Transportation expedited the fixing of that bridge. It was shut down because a, a truck had hit one of the trussles and made it uh, unsafe condition, which they worked uh, very hard and, and, and long hours to get that bridge up as soon as possible. The county bridge was due to scheduled maintenance. Uh, when you have bridges, you need to, to maintain and do various tasks throughout the years to keep the longevity of the life. Um, and that was completed in open. Blue Island, uh, which which the county owns that bridge, the, 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 the Francis, it's Francisco, and the Ashland Bridge is owned by the state. But the two bridges that the city owns, and one in particular that we're here today, are owned by the city. They were transferred to the city back in the 60s um, as city-owned bridges. And this is very rare in the state of Illinois that a municipality, and especially a municipality of this size, that owns its own bridges. Uh, over the years, it, it was lack of maintenance, lack of uh, funding, uh, led to the Department of Transportation, IDOT, to shut these bridges down. And so, so on, on some clarity, they do bridge studies, and it was determined that these bridges were unsafe for pedestrian and uh, use. So the Department of Transportation had shut, shut the bridges down for the well-being of the citizens of Blue Island. This is going back over five years. We've been working diligently to uh, make this a priority for the city. And today, we are going to announce some funding and a timeline of when this bridge will be uh, opened. We're talking about the Division Street Bridge. We had to do some uh, uh, innovative ways of coming up of using traffic studies from the, the, the uh, uh, Chatham Street Bridge and this street bridge. Uh, because normally a state doesn't come in to, to, to fund a local bridge to this magnitude. I mean, you think about all the different projects the state has dealing with all the interstates. Uh, but I'm very pleased to announce today that we're going to issue the City of Blue Island a check for $500,000. And I want to announce today that we are on track to open these bridges next year. Canal Street Bridge will be tied to the uh, uh, Calsac Trail, which will be open up to pedestrian and, and, and uh, bike and, and, and for the use of people. That's tied into the $1.2 billion that was announced for the Calsac Trail connecting the 14 communities in the south suburbs. And the Division Street Bridge will be open up for vehicles and for, for pedestrians also. Um, if we're on the north side of the bridge, but if you look at the south side of the bridge, which we can't see, we have a fire department 
which poses a, a, a concern of public safety. We have a hospital yeah. on the north side of the bridge, fire department on the, the, the south side. This is a very important issue and we've taken it uh, very diligently working hard to get these open. This $500,000 that I'm going to present a check in a few minutes uh, represents the phase two part of the bridge. We are on track for the phase three. Um, we have a timeline, we have commitments. Uh, uh, I'm going to let the mayor speak to that in a few minutes of exactly where we are going to be. Uh, but by next year, just, we are on target to have this bridge open. Uh, this is a, a commitment and a priority not only have I had, uh, a commitment and a priority of the uh, Mayor Vargas, a commitment and a priority to all the aldermen. Uh, not only the second ward, Chris Bellato, Alderman Bellato, and the third ward, Alderman Rita, and Alderman Donahue, but all the aldermen in the city, this has become a top priority. And it shows today that when everybody's working together, we could get results. Uh, what I'd like to do is bring up and ask Mayor Vargas to say a few words uh, in terms of where we're at in the timeline. And, and so let's hear from Mayor Domingo Vargas. Let me start off first by thanking uh, State Representative Bob Rita for all his assistance and support on behalf of all the residents and the elected officials here in the city of Blue Island. Now, let me start off with this. I want to welcome all of you. This is another historic day in the city of Blue Island. It's a milestone. Think about the, the name of the street, Division Street. As a result of this bridge and the Chatham Street Bridge being down, it has, in a way, divided the city. This is the dividing point between north and south. So instead of a division, we want to be this as a focal point to unite our city back for transportation, vehicular, pedestrian. And as you can see, people are still crossing this, this bridge. They need it for transportation. They need it to get to do their groceries, to go to school. So this is one of the vital bridges in the city of Blue Island. There are six bridges in the city. As our state <coughs> representative mentioned, the Ashland Street Bridge had gone down. Then the Francisco Bridge needed to, some uh, rehab, which was completed ahead of schedule. But we need the Division Street and we need the, division, and the Chatham Street Bridge. Again, without the assistance of our state rep, our aldermen who are here present, you as citizens, we all love Blue Island. We need this. And let me give you a little timeline of how this is going on. January 2015, final engineering is supposed to be completed regarding the Division Street Bridge. In or around March 2015, around the 23rd of March, money has to be in the bank. By June 15, 2015, the letting contracts go out. And God willing, July 15th, 2015, they start rehabbing the Division Street Bridge. It will be rehabbed. Woo! Again, this is all working together, all of us working together for the unifying Blue Island. Again, Division Street Bridge isn't gonna be a bridge that divides the city, it's a bridge that's bringing the city together. And again, I wanna thank all of you for being present here. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And um, how this how this funding will work? It'll come through the federal bridge, bridge program that will come through the Department of Transportation, IDOT, through the State uh, Department of Transportation. And it's approximately about eight to nine million dollars to reconstruct this bridge. So the eight to nine million dollars, eighty percent of that funding will be covered by the state um, through the, the federal bridge program and the 20% will be covered by the city of Blue Island. Um, approximately 1.2 million, million and a half by the city of Blue Island, seven and a half million uh, by the state. We were able to, uh, in, in the efforts that the city has made in, in terms of uh, changing a boundary of a TIF district, and including this in, into a TIF district, uh, so that the funding uh, is available and ready to be used when, as the mayor said, in, in uh, a few months away, as I say, it's, it's just a few months away, 
uh, the city has ensured that the money is in the bank and it's uh, ready for construction. But I'd like to ask uh, the alderman and the chairman of finance of the city of Blue Island to say a few words, Alderman Nancy Rita. Thank you. Thank you very much. The opening of this bridge has been a priority of mine since it's closed. It not only is an economic and convenience issue with Danny's Market over here and um, with, the, of course, the fire department over here, uh, it is a safety issue. As chairman of the Finance Committee, as my brother Bob Reedon has just mentioned, uh, along with my colleagues and the Finance Committee, um, it has been a top priority. Uh, the opening of this bridge shows what can happen and how we can get things done when we all work together. And I'd like to thank you. <laughs> um, you know, we're joined by many uh, officials from the township, many officials from the city of Blue Island. But I'd like to ask, uh, I'd like to ask Alderman Bellato to say a couple words on behalf of the second ward. As you know, this sits in the third ward, in the second ward. It's the, the connecting of the south side to the east side of the city of Blue Island. Uh, Alderman Bellato. How you doing? Um, addressing these closed bridges has been a top priority for both myself and for the residents of the second ward. It's actually one of the main reasons I ran as an alderman for the city of Blue Island. It is a public issue, an inconvenience to all of us, and a safety issue. And I am very pleased that we are all working together and getting this process started and within a year we'll get a bridge open. Before I present the check, let me let me let me uh, uh, announce we have Alderman Crosto from the sixth ward here today. Our uh, township assessor Fred Bellato, Mayor Pro Tem, and first ward Alderman Tom Hawley, Alderman Candace Carr from the fourth ward, public safety chairman. Our clerk, Randy Hauser. Again, Alderman Bellato, Alderman Rita. I didn't forget you, Kevin. <laughs> uh, the the, the uh, partner of the third ward alderman and, and uh, uh, Alderman Kevin Donahue from the third ward, also a member of the finance committee to help ensure the funding for the city is here. Our great treasurer, Carmen Bellato. Cayman Township uh, Trustee Rosalind Priest, Alderman Nancy Thompson, also a member of the Finance Committee, and Alderman of uh, the Seventh Ward and Chairman of Municipal Services Jim Johansson. Did I forget anybody? If not, I'm uh, sorry, but um, <laughs> right now I know we get the Chief Police. Director of Public Safety, we've got a number of individuals here to join us. But this is a good day. And, and what I'd like to do is present this check as the uh, announcement that these bridges are going to be open next year. A lot of you know, people saying when they're going to do it, we are on track. The bridges will be open. Congratulations, City of Blue Island. You're the winner. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Now State Representative Bob Reed on behalf of the City of Blue Island. We thank you. We thank you. This is working together for one Blue Island. And again, the Vision Street Bridge, the first check. Thank you very much. Woo!